Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Gilbo here in the Republic of Georgia with First Things Foundation. Uh, this is my month two video on the Talmer Dental Clinic project and I'd like to tell you a little bit about what this project is and what's been happening over this past month. So, um, who's Talmar? Talmar is a dentist who was trained in the Capitol, Tbilisi. Uh, she actually grew up here though, so she went for education in the Capitol and instead of staying there like most of the people in this area do, they go to the Capitol and stay there. She came back and wanted to serve her local people. Um, so I got to know Talmar through her parents during my first months here in Georgia. So right now it's month 10 of me being in Georgia, but during my, I guess, month one through three, months one through three, four, um, it was winter time and I, uh, would go to her father's butcher shop and, uh, interact with his customers, watch how he processes, uh, all the meat and everything. And I would also go to her mother's second-hand clothes shop. Um, and those are just uh, a few doors apart. So uh, I got to see both of her parents regularly. And eventually, after going to her uh, parents' shops, Tamara would come after a long day of work, with the kids maybe, uh, her husband. And so slowly I got to know Tamara and her family through her parents uh, in my immersion ship uh, phase. So now that I'm in my creation ship phase, month 10, um, I'm interacting with local Georgians, uh, vetting whose ideas will be uh, the best for the community at large here, and meeting with them and seeing um, the kind of future they want for their kids and the community here. And Tamar is definitely one of the people that stood out to me, um, of a real concrete impact um, for change that uh, could be had on the community. So. Um, one of, one of the previous field workers for First Things, Oswald Farley, um, he helped Tamar renovate her clinic, making it more easily to be sterilized. Um, and now I'm continuing Oswald's work by trying to acquire sterilization equipment that would increase efficiency. So right now, um, her clinic's been modernized, but what's holding Tamar back is how long it takes to, to sterilize her tools. So currently it would be about two hours for her to sterilize a batch of her metal uh, dental tools. But um, with the new methods she's seeking, she would hope to cut that down to about 45 minutes, more than half. Um, what she has now is a dry heat autoclave, um, but she's looking at a steam autoclave, which again would cut that time in half to 45 minutes instead of the two hours. Um, with this equipment, she would be hoping to see more villagers, um, which is who she serves. And so Monday through Friday, she works at a, in a Akhatsike clinic here in town. And then uh, during the weekends, uh, Saturday, Sunday, she works in her home in Arali in the village here where she serves the local villagers. Not only in Arali, but also 52 surrounding villages um, where people don't have access to come all the way into the city. Um, and so her clinic is vital in providing quality care to people in the village who don't have access to anywhere else to go, um, which is why I'm excited to be partnered with her. Um, so this past month, I've been emailing people back in the States, uh, getting some responses, but I'm still waiting to hear back from some. Um, but yeah, it's uh, nothing serious has happened. I've gotten a few donations, but um, if you all would like to help in this project at all, um, my information is on the first-things.org webpage, um, and that link will be down in the um, information section on the YouTube video if you're watching this on YouTube. So if you'd like to help in this project, I would love uh, your help, or if you know of um, somewhere that I could, uh, like funds or grants or money that I could um, take from that would be able to go to a project like this, I would love you to reach out to me and connect me with them. If you have any questions about who Tamar is or any more details about the project, um, reach out to me and that can be found on the, there'll be a link to the company's webpage uh, on the YouTube description. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next month. Bye.